Um, there's a specific way that I like to organize my toolbar. So I will do that. I usually like to make these a little bit bigger so that I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, you just uh, drag from the side of it until you get the, the little icon with the, the two arrows. And you drag it into the position you want it to be in. I don't usually use the brush size thing, so I close out of that. Um, reference is something new, I believe, for animation stuff. I don't use that either. Uh, navigation, I usually keep up here in this corner uh, to, to reference back to, and the layers are right underneath it. My brush settings, I keep right above, right, right below the color settings. Uh, I don't use the palette, so the palette can go away. Uh, brush preview is useful to have around, so I keep that there. And brush control looks a little different from how I'm used to it, but uh, it can stay right, right down there. I have several brushes other than the default, which I might show how to get new brushes in a different tutorial. Uh, but yeah, and I have them all in nice little folders. So another thing worth mentioning is sometimes you might accidentally hit a button and you'll end up with the screen looking like this. Um, that button is the tab button that toggles the uh, interface showing up or hiding it. Um, I've never used this tool except on accident, <laughs> so hitting the tab key is an easy way to fix that. Uh, you can also uh, go to Window Tools uh, in the top left and show or hide the tab uh, from the menu there. Uh, 